VC. Welcome to the Inner Sleeve. I'm your host, DR. And this morning, this afternoon, tonight, we have another vinyl review for you. And the album we're reviewing is the Black Keys Dropout Boogie. This is the Black Keys 11th studio album that just came out here. I believe it was May 13th. I pre-ordered this on their uh, website here in the U.S. So I got the special color and all that, you know. So we'll go ahead here and we'll take a look at the packaging. It was just in a simple, typical, typical jacket, not a gatefold or anything. There's the front cover with the, the guys all dussied up, gussied up there. And in the back. Uh, then we have the inserts, which, funny enough, um, this insert here, which is basically, I think, a small version of the tour poster, did not come in the sleeve. It was actually just in the box. So the thing was shrink wrapped. This wasn't in there. It was just laying in the box that it came in, which is fine, but just interesting. Maybe they came in late or maybe they weren't planning on including them or just an extra. I'm not sure. And then this was what was actually in the um, jacket, this little card, your pink slip, if you will. It's supposed to be funny, I guess, kind of, keeping with their album theme. The dropout boogie. And uh, next we'll take a look at the vinyl. So the vinyl did come in a polyline inner sleeve, which is always a bonus. It is on this uh, pink and blue splatter burst. I'm not sure if that's the official color. That's what I'm going to call it for right now. There you see side A label. Kind of the fun uh, tomato and tire and easy eye sound. And then the side B label. That actually lists your songs and their lengths. And that is one thing about this album. It is not super long. It is 10 songs, 34 minutes. So the, you know, typical, I guess, Black Keys, not real long songs, just kind of pop, pop length, rock, you know, rock songs. And now we will talk about the album. So the, first I should talk about sound quality. The uh, vinyl was, was quiet. Uh, it had some a level of warp. It wasn't major. It wasn't bad to look at. So that's, uh, you know, average, I guess I would say. Now in this day, some warp is almost to be expected, which is crazy, but it, especially at these prices. Um, the production, I thought, was pretty good. It's a little weird in parts. I mean, the overall album's kind of a little bit different in some parts, but I thought the sound quality was good. Anyways, let's talk about the the music, right? That's what we're here for. And I will say right away that I was let down by this album. Um, I wish I wasn't the case of a big Black Keys fan, although I'm kind of a thick freakness to attack and release fan. And I like Brothers and some of the other stuff after that a little bit. Uh, Hate Turn Blue. Um, and this, unfortunately, I think is a little closer to Turn Blue than it is the Thick Freakness. And I know they can't keep doing the same thing over and over again, so I do appreciate them changing it up. I would say this starts out to me a little bit almost like a return back to the big come up, their first album, and then kind of it's a little bit of Brothers in it, and then kind of goes to Turn Blue. So it's kind of a mishmash, um, but let's talk about a few of the songs. Wild Child starts with the album Strong. Love that song. Uh, wish it, the whole album could have been kind of like that. It Ain't Over, it's a... It has a good course to it. It's a decent song. Um, kind of has some of the Brothers album vibe. For the love of money, it's just okay. I, I, maybe it'll grow on me more after I've listened. I've only listened to this on vinyl twice, and I streamed it twice before I, while I was gone. Um, your team is looking good. I think it's corny as hell. I really don't like it. I wish they would have left that one off. I, I suppose we're going to hear it in these uh, stadiums and stuff for sports, and, I, and I'm just going to probably have to... Plug my ears. Um, probably one of my least favorites on the album. Good Love, featuring Billy Gibbons. Um, I thought it had good guitar tone, probably because Billy. Best slower song on the album, in my opinion. A decent song. How long? How long will the song go on is the real question. I did not like How Long, which kicks off side B. Burn the Damn Thing Down. I think it's probably the best song on side B. Um, kind of a basic blues chords progression, almost a little country-ish. Happiness is uh, kind of an okay, I just wrote down it's an okay song. Baby I'm Coming Home, really just slow and boring for me. Didn't really much care for it. And then uh, Didn't I Love You, 
was another just kind of okay song. So unfortunately, I was really underwhelmed with this album. I was really, I had high hopes for it. I thought Delta Cream last year, what came out last year was great. I realize it's just covers, but I really enjoyed it. I like it when they play that uh, old blues stuff. Uh, so overall, what did I think of the album? My rating and presentation, Vinyl Color was really good. I rated that a four out of five inner sleeves. Uh, no lyrics, kind of a weird cover. I'm gonna drop it down to like a two and a half on, uh, on the jacket and uh, that packaging. So overall, we're right at a three and a quarter or something like that on the presentation. Sound quality, again, I said the pressing was good. I give it a three. Production was good, I give it a three. So a three for sound quality. And then music, I hemmed and hawed on this. I don't, it's hard to rate your favorite, when some of your favorite bands, you know, low, but I really can't give this above a three, I, definitely not above a three. In fact, I, I ended up writing down two. So overall, I'm about two and three quarters on this one. Definitely at the lower end of uh, their catalog now for me as far as a ranking. Um, maybe it'll grow on you more. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Keep those turntables spinning. See ya.